Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Um, as you can see, I'm on my smaller table again. My family's back, so I can't use the kitchen table and leave paintings there for three days anymore. They were gone for a week, so I had the kitchen table for a couple of my videos. Uh, but I'm back to this smaller table. So I'm going to try my ladle pour again on an 8 by 8 inch canvas this time because this table isn't big enough to put that box on it that I was using to hold my label, my ladle. Um, so I'm gonna have to hold it by myself and pour at the same time. I don't know if I wanna like hold it above or, I don't know how this is gonna go because it worked so well whenever I had it pushed in the box. So now I have to try to hold it and pour at the same time. So I'm just gonna try it on a smaller canvas first. Um, if you can see like an indentation, I have something here so that the sides don't rest right on my Lazy Susan. This cup is like five ounces. I don't need that much paint. I need about half of that. So I have a lot of colors because I was planning to do a 10 by 10, but then I realized I don't have anywhere to put this ladle. Um, so I have to try to hold it and pour at the same time. And I just imagine this is gonna be a disaster. So. I'm just going to get started, tell you the colors as I go, and then I'll play music because I have to think too much about paying attention until I can find something that I can put this in for whenever I use this smaller table. It makes me really sad because I was really enjoying doing those on the larger table. It was a lot easier on the larger table and I had that big box to hold my ladle and I was really liking getting used to these pours and now I can't so um, I have to try to find a way to make it work here this one is just red and that is way too much color but it's a new one so it just kind of poured out and I'm gonna put a little bit of white between um, and I want to try to do like just a dirty cup so I don't really care how they mix in there and since I don't need a lot I'm just gonna squirt from my bottles. This one is the pearl white that I mixed up before. And I want to put that in between some. That last color was berry and then this one is powerful pink. And then I want to do a, just a tiny loop of white. I want to do a little bit of silver. And a little bit of gold. This one isn't open. Whoops, see that wasn't mixed up because it hadn't been opened. I've shaken it, it just wasn't mixed up because it hasn't been opened. I hope that doesn't like ruin everything. And then another dot of white. And now some citrus spray. And some pearl white. one is pool party some white and this one is enchanted forest put a little bit more of that um maybe I can get just a little bit of this pearl white to drizzle with my thing okay I want to let that sit for a minute to see if any of the paints kind of mix together just a little bit and um, then I'll be back in a second and move all this stuff out of the way and see how I can pour this. I have a feeling this one would turn out a lot better if I did it on a larger canvas in a different cup and if I had something to hold my ladle, but I do not, I don't think. 
No. I have to hold it, so. I have a feeling it's not going to turn out well. But I might as well try and see what happens. I won't know until I try it. I wish I had a third hand to kind of spin this as the pour was coming out. Um, I'll just set this stuff aside for right now. I don't know if that's enough paint, actually. something to put around to help spread the paint. Let me try just putting like some flow extender paint around. This is no different than the others. I just call it flow extender because it's just excess paint that I need to put on there so that my paint has something to roll over. See, that doesn't have to be perfect. That can be the white or whatever. None of that has to be nice. But I am kind of going this way. So let's try to recenter the paint. And I'm just gonna give it a gentle spin and see what happens. What I'm seeing is that this worked better with a split cup, number one. Number two, I needed just a little bit more paint because it's not quite spreading enough. And those drips are losing their shape from being stretched out too much. Um, I don't know if I should tilt a little bit or what I should do. I have some blank canvas spots too, which bother me to no end. I don't know if it would continue. I don't know if it would continue spreading. Um, I like the, I don't know. I've been trying to just leave it whenever I don't like it in hopes that I'll like it later. But I don't like that I have bare canvas on the sides and that I didn't have quite enough paint. There's still some paint in there. I don't know if I could just maybe pour some of this to cover my sides. Okay, I'm sure I sped all that up. Now let's spin one more time. Okay, um, I don't like it very well. It didn't work very well. Um, I'm going to heat it again in just a second. I think that I needed more paint and I needed the bigger surface to work in where something could hold my uh, ladle because I just can't do it on this little table very well. Um, 
and I needed more paint so that these drips, like these little spots here, it would have been really nice to have left those whenever they were just like, look like the drips. But I didn't have enough paint, so I had to really stretch it. So it didn't work out very well. Um, I'll try again sometime and I'll really try, um, I guess I'll have to try something else because I can't use the big table very much. So let me tour or let me heat and see what happens. I don't really like the way the white looks in there. The little teeny tiny, um, I just don't like this. I don't like anything about it. Maybe I like it better when it dries. I've challenged myself not to pour over things lately for a while, so I'm gonna leave it and see what it looks like when it dries. If I still don't like it, I don't know what I'll do with it. Um, but that's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching. Stick around for the close up and have a blessed day. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna do two close ups because right now, as you can see, that large yellow spot, that's the overhead light, but it's dark outside. So I'm gonna do that one and then I'm gonna turn the light off and do one with my, just my camera light on my phone. And I have this recording light here too. But I don't like it very well. I may like it better when it dries. I think I needed more paint so that I didn't overstretch the drips. And I needed a different cup to pour from and I needed something to hold the ladle for me. So there were a lot of things that went wrong that I just couldn't help with this one. But I promised myself not to pour over and I promised myself to start keeping paintings for a while and then deciding on them later. And you can tell here some of these like wavy, fiery flame looking lines are where the paint was stretched a little bit too much I think because I didn't have enough paint. So next time I'll use a better cup I may try to find a little box to prop my ladle in on this table. I was going for red and green for like Christmas colors. Um, I did get that, but it's just not very good. Hopefully when it dries, I'll see something in it, like an image that stands out to me and maybe I'll like it better. Let me know what you think um, and I'll do another close up for you in just a second. Okay, I'll do another close-up without the overhead light on, so maybe you can see a little bit better. There is a lot of shimmer from that pearl white that I made, um, and the silver and the gold. And these colors did stay separated. I didn't get a lot of mud, so that's good. I just need a better execution, um, and I can try something like this again. Maybe I needed the split cup, maybe that's what makes it better. Maybe I needed a different cup. I think to start with, I definitely needed more paint and maybe a bigger space. But I like my little table that I do most of my work on, so I'll have to find a way to make it work in here. And I don't know. Maybe something will jump out at me whenever it dries and I'll like it better. That's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching. Have a blessed day. And I want to turn it all the ways and look at it through the camera just for a minute. And see if anything jumps out at me one way or another to tell me which way it should go. Let me know in the comments which way you like it best. And if you see anything in it that you like, I kind of like it like this actually. back where I started so again I think I needed more paint number one so I'll try it again with more paint and I don't know what else I'll change but I'll try some other things to try to make it better but thanks for watching have a blessed day bye